Hey, hey, how's it going everyone? Enzo coming at you guys with another video. It has been a while since my last upload. I've been slammed with uh, activities outside of RC, uh, but all things considered, we're back and I just wanted to share my newest uh, addition to the fleet, which is my new Raw 700 Nitro by SAB Heli Division. So super pumped to get this going this summer. Uh, this was uh, something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time, uh, and I'm really excited to get this going once it warms up a little bit. So I just wanted to make this quick little video uh, to go over the components that I use in the build, kind of get up close and personal with the heli. Uh, so for anyone that you know might be considering a RAW 700, they can kind of check out a little bit uh, of the helicopter from more first-person view. Um, and get a little bit more acquainted with what you get with the orange uh, and white Raw 700 Nitro kit. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in and uh, we'll get started on what we used. All right, so coming back, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on kind of breaking down some of the components that we used um, and kind of highlight some of the build. So first off, I don't think the camera is picking it up correctly, but the orange that SAB uses in these uh, orange kits is like a glow stick. It is insanely bright. Uh, it's really hard to get it to pick up on the camera. If anything, uh, when I try to focus it, you guys are probably seeing it right now. I'm kind of touching the screen to get it to focus. And the color is changing from a dark hue to almost a red. It's, it's so bright that it's messing with the camera colors. So uh, it's a really, really visible color scheme. Um, it's an excellent color to fly with when it's overcast or slightly uh, more on the dusk side of things when the sun starts to go down. Um, just going off of my 580 Kraken that has the all orange, uh, that is the newer uh, SAB paint scheme for the Kraken 580 up until the, the new release. Um, but the orange color from SAB is so visible. Um, and it's an excellent color to have when it's a little bit overcast or uh, cloudy as well. It just sticks out. So you guys can probably see the, the weird camera effect right there on the letters on the edges. It's just it's pretty cool. Um, and this is the nice thing is another thing worth mentioning is that the SAB Raw 700 Nitro in the orange spe uh, scheme does have a gloss finish, as you can probably see right there. Um, it is not a matte finish. Um, so that's something worth mentioning there as well. But enough about the colors and the canopy. We'll go ahead and get started on the components. So first thing right here is the pipe. Um, I opted to go a little bit of a different route. Some of the guys like running the um, Pro, or Protune or Powertune. No, Protune V2 uh, from Heli Direct. I know some guys have built 700 Nitros with that. You know, a lot of people fly the OS Powertune 105 pipe. I tried to go a different route um, and try out the M-Studio uh, 3D0Z1 pipe, which is the pipe that Kenny Co flies uh, in his XL Power Nitros, uh, up until he just recently started developing his own pipe. So if it's good enough for Kenny, I think it's good enough for me. So pretty pumped to try those out. Um, and then this is paired to an OS-105. Um, I know another popular option would have been the ys I want to say 96 uh, in the 91. I hope I didn't butcher those uh, model uh, options from YS. Uh, I just wanted to go OS. Those that follow me with racing, uh, I've used OS engines with the OS speed line in the cars for a very long time and they just work. So I knew that OS is reliable, uh, does the job. So why not go with uh, what you know works? So OS engines in this build. Um, I do have the, I want to say that is the Absolute CNC. Hopefully I said that correctly. Um, uh, Absolute CNC throttle horn. Uh, this is the uh, red anodized version. They do sell it in red or blue. Um, I went with this horn just to eliminate the plastic four-way horn that comes with the OS engine naturally on the carb. I just felt a little bit more secure having an aluminum throttle horn that you can really crank down with that center screw so it doesn't slip or go anywhere. Um, it just felt a little bit more comfortable with having that horn there for the build. 
Um, as for the throttle servo, I have the Torque BLS2208 Black Edition, um, and all these servos on this build have the, um, I want to say, hard composite SAB servo horns. So that is the throttle setup. As for the Cyclic, uh, same exact servos on Cyclic, which is the Torque BLS2208 Black Editions. Uh, solid servos, I fly these same exact servos in my RAW 700 electric at the highest output voltage, which I want to say is 8, 8 or 8.1 volts is the max BEC on that Hobbywing 200 that I have. Uh, excellent servos. Um, I don't fly for any heli brands. I don't have any heli sponsors. Um, so I'm, I'm using really what I want to use and what I think works for me. So have had nothing but great success with all the torque servos throughout all my helis. Um, and I've enjoyed them, so I figured why not put the same gear in the Nitro. So BLS 2208s on Cyclic. Uh, moving on to the fly bar list, I do fly V-Control now. I do not have my Spectrum and Icon setup anymore, so I have a V-Control uh, Classic radio, uh, and all of my helis have the uh, v bar neo fly bar list system so that is the fly bar of choice I'll zoom back out a little bit we're in widescreen mode there we go um, so that is that right there and then we'll come around on the other side so you guys can see the tail setup um, and as for the tail servo again the same exact thing uh, i have the torque black edition but this is the 0704 t uh, black edition tail servo. So once again, the same exact servos that are in my RAW 700 electric are in this build. Um, as for the receiver battery setup, I do have a Pulse 2S 2550 sized receiver pack, and I did wire it up with XT60. Um, I've used XT60 a good bit in the past, and they're a pretty reliable connector. Uh, stays pretty, pretty snug as well, so I know I wasn't going to have issues there. Uh, and then lastly, just so you guys know, I do have the Align uh, fuel filter, the three-way. So I have the refueling uh, inlet port right there with that little plug. So that's really all the components that I used, kind of the breakdown of my build. As for the blade setup, uh, I am rocking the standard S700 main blades and the standard, I want to say, 105 tail that come with the RAW 700 Nitro. However, my RAW 700 Electric, I did upgrade and go to the Rotortech Ultimate 700 main blades and Rotortech Ultimate 106 tails. Um, is it needed? No, but is it nice to have? Kind of depends on your flying. So I really enjoyed the feel of the Rotortechs. It was a, a positive increase in the things that I was looking for, a little bit faster off center, uh, more pop with the collective just feels a little bit more connected um, Just a little bit more of, a, of an aggressive blade uh, Kind of reacts quicker all around to all your inputs. So I do plan on flying this raw 700 nitro with these s 700s to try them out um, Just to see how they fly on the sab blades uh, But I do plan at some point in the future to upgrade the nitro to the full rotor tech package so 700s and 106s uh, just like the electric, uh, and possibly even on the electric going to 715 rotor techs, as I did try those um, at the mow down fun fly. Was able to get someone there to let me try uh, a pair of their main blades, was really nice, offered to let me try them, uh, and I really liked them on the electric, so I think that's what I might do for the 700 electric. But again, I really appreciate everyone watching. The support on the channel has been really cool. I really haven't been uploading like I used to. And every time I look at my subscriber count, it keeps going up. We're almost at 2,000, which is pretty crazy. Um, never really created YouTube with the idea of going uh, viral or anything. Just always did it to have fun with the hobby and kind of just share a little bit of the, the passion. And it's been growing steadily and slowly ever since. So really appreciate everyone kind of watching, following along. Um, and yeah, and then also with the racing side, we do plan to make some more videos with that. I got a new Team Associated B7 coming soon, so that'll be great for some footage. Keep everyone in the loop with that. 
Uh, but yeah, I am excited to get this flying in the summer or in the springtime um, and just wanted to share the news. So thanks everyone for watching and we will catch you guys in the next one.